Many old Beijingers call the Central Axis the Central Axis Road. The route running through the north and south of China's capital, Beijing, indeed shoulders important transportation functions and also boasts many firsts in the history of public transportation in Beijing. In 1957, route number one, Beijing's first trolley bus service, kicked off full operation. Using China's first-generation domestic trolley buses, known as Type Beijing 1, the biggest impression the trolley bus had left on the passengers was its two long wires resembling big braids. They were attached to the power grid in the air to supply power to vehicles and might occasionally encounter derailment, leading to the forced shutdown of vehicles. The Type 1 Beijing 1 trolley bus had served Beijing citizens for more than 30 years, carrying the traffic memory of people of that era. Nowadays, the trolley bus has made a nostalgic comeback in the form of cultural and creative building blocks, enabling the older generation to recall the past and the younger generation to learn more about history. In this way, the time-honored trolley bus culture lives on. The earliest bus line along the central axis is bus number 5, whose history can be traced back to 1935. It used T110 Dodge passenger vehicle, whose engine front looks like a big nose thus gaining the nickname Big Nose Bus. Now the bus number five is a photon hybrid bus fueled by the particularly popular extended range form of power supply. The original route of bus number five was from Donghuamen to Shangshan. After several adjustments, it has been extended to shuttle between Saihuying Bridge to Beitucheng. Running upwards along the north section of the central axis, one can see the Olympic Park. All the way south, the bus shuttles through the red walls and green tiles of the old city, passing through Jingshan Park, Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden City, Tianmen, Yongding Gate, and other well-known scenic spots on the central axis. The route of bus number 5 almost completely coincides with the central axis. Thus, it's fair to call the ride the most scenic bus route along the central axis. Beijing's first BRT line also ran along the Central Axis. On December 25, 2004, the South Central Axis BRT Route 1 was completed and put into trial operation. BRT, known as a subway on the ground, greatly eases the traffic pressure in crowded areas, meeting the tourist demands for fast and convenient transportation. At the same time, BRT Line 1 has also become a window for promoting the Central Axis. Various promotional messages of the central axis are displayed in the carriage, bringing the cultural heritage closer to the daily life of ordinary people. From trolley buses to buses and BRT, the public transportation vehicles running along the central axis are constantly changing, carrying the memories of generations and witnessing the ever-changing transformation and development of the cultural heritage, Beijing and China.